A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, Son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord Have sight, your faith has saved you. The Gospel narrates the experience of an unseeing man, a blind man who ends up being cured. Commenting on this scene, Pope Francis notes that though the man was blind, he wasn't foolish. He knew all that went on in the city. Thus, he heard the noise and inquired what was happening. When he heard Jesus was coming, he cried out. And when they told him to be silent, he cried out even louder. Francis asks, what was the reason for his behavior? This man wanted salvation. He wanted to be healed. And the Gospel notes, Jesus said that he had faith. Francis further notes the blind man gambled and won. As a blind outcast, it's difficult to gamble when a person is so debased, so marginalized. However, he gambled and he knocked at the door of Jesus' heart. What a beautiful image, knocking at the heart of Jesus. The Pope suggests that we, both individually and as the Church, should see ourselves as blind beggars sitting by the roadside, needing the healing touch of Jesus. Like the Jericho blind beggar, do we come to Jesus with such humility and persistence?